I am your host, Robin Cloud. Robin Cloud. <laughs> I'm here with Robin Cloud. We actually like each other. With me today is the fabulously dressed oh. Greg Johnson. Thank you. I like your tie very Thank much, Robin. Thank you. Well, you know, the comics bring in the dapper. Yes, bring absolutely. The dapper. Yes, Robin yes. is back. Hello, everyone. And she's looking Thank lovely you. today. Who wears just, salmon and a bow tie like, like Robin? color. Let's do some color today. Friday the 13th. Yes. What could possibly <laughs> go wrong? I'm Everything. so excited. $324 million, million dollars. dollars. Richard. Yes. So we were talking about what would we do? You would pull one of those like your phone doesn't work anymore. You just. Act. I would have my lawyer pick up the check. <laughs> Now, this is my favorite piece caught on tape in Clinton Hill last week, reports The Gothamist was a young woman acting as an accomplice to a robbery. Now, what makes this story newsworthy is that she was twerking while she kept watch. It wasn't Miley Cyrus, though. Were you surprised by who or what won an Oscar last night? Actually, not so many for surprises, but how about the acceptance speeches? Anything that inspired you or turned you off? Did you ooh and ah over the outfits or mostly jeer and tweet away at your TV set? Do you know the guy who did the adaptation of 12 Years a Slave? Because he won an Oscar. Yeah. And I noticed when he got up, he didn't no, like, McQueen. he didn't mm -hmm. hug McQueen, didn't give him it a high smile. I see. <laughs> he didn't mention you guys him know from about the stage. And what I'm about away. getting this stuff off? How long does it take? How many showers is she going to have to take? Um, I don't know. Do you have, yeah, <laughs> the boy, if she has a boyfriend, she'll only have to take one. <laughs> but um, this comes off pretty easy. This, this, <laughs> is, this is water-based makeup. Mainstream media now, we have social media, we have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I mean, there's such strong influences on, on everyone, but specifically our girls. You know, I have a niece that's 10, and she, you know, she was watching Toddlers and Tiaras, and then she was like, oh, I want to be, and I was like, whoa, no. no. <laughs> so we like beat out Northampton, which is like the home of beat all out. lesbians. I spent many, many a uh, high school night. Oops, sorry, Mom. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> and of course, if you have some ideas you want to nominate for this show, send them to us at tips at brickartsmedia.org. We want at to brick meet Arts you. Bye-bye. <laughs>